Good morning everyone, today we are going to be carrying on with line graphs and today we are going to be drawing line graphs. So let's look at our anchor for today. It says which rule do we use when plotting a graph? So have a think, when we put numbers on a graph do we go up the y axis and then across the x axis or do we go across the x axis and then up the y axis? Okay, so if you thought it was across the x-axis and then up the y-axis, you will be correct. Sometimes we remember this by saying along the corridor and up the stairs, just as a nice way to remind us. Or some people like to use, just like, just like to remember, across and up. Okay, so remember that when you're plotting your graphs today. So we have got a graph and we've got three questions to um have a look at so it says complete the line graph so i've got this table here and it says class five measures the height of a sunflower over seven weeks here is a table of data that shows their results so it says week one is 54 centimeters in height so it says here's week one so i need 54 so 54 is about there so I'm going to take my X and I'm going to mark it on. Yours will be more accurate because you won't be doing it on a computer. You'll be doing it um, drawn. You might need to draw these graphs out in your book when you come to do your writing, but that's your writing, your math. But that's fine because you've got squared paper. Okay. And then it says week two, 63. So I'm going to go along to week two and then up to 63. So 63 is about there, okay, then week 3, I've got 70, so that one's nice and easy to plot on, I've got 70, then week 4 is 75, so along to week 4, up to 75, oh, okay. Then I've got week 5 at 82, so I'm going to go along the x-axis to week 5 and up to 82. Then I have week 6, so I'm going to go along to week 6 and up to 87. And then finally I've got week 7, so along the x-axis and then up to 94. Okay. Brilliant. So that's done now. So what I need to do now is to make my line for my line graph. So using a ruler, I'm going to connect all of the um, crosses, all of the data points. Okay. So a nice straight line. Don't miss any of them out. Make sure you do them in order. And there we go. Okay. So you can see now we have represented our table of the sunflower heights on a graph over seven weeks. Okay. So it says, estimate the height of the sunflower at week, at 4.5 weeks. So 4.5 weeks is about the middle between four, between five and four. So it's about here, okay? So I'm going to estimate, so it's not going to be an exact answer, but it's going to be a roundabout answer. So I'm going to take my line like I did yesterday, and I'm going to go up to here. And I can see that it is about one, two, three, it is about 78, so if I went across to my y-axis from here, we could see that it's about 75, 76, 77, 78. So we think it is about 78 centimetres. And then it says explain your answer. So I think at week... 4.5 the sunflower was 78 centimeters because when I 
use the x axis so when I oh sorry my laptop just went a bit strange then because when I use the x axis and go up to my data line it is around this point however just because our line goes to that point doesn't necessarily mean that that's 100% accurate because my line could be slightly skewed I might not be exactly halfway between 4 and 5 Okay, I could be a little bit under or a little bit over. So it's an estimation. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, so just think about that when you're marking your answers as well. Okay, and then let's move on. This one's a bit trickier. I wanted to make sure I showed you this because it has got two pieces of data represented on this graph. So you're going to need two different lines. So you can see you've got sunrise represented and you need to have sunset represented and you need to make sure you don't mess not mess them up confuse them when you are plotting them on this was a platinum challenge today so sunrise first so i'm going to do all of sunrise in the first column in the first table and all of sunrise in the second table okay so sunrise in january was at 8 o'clock 8 a.m remember your points always need to be on the line never in the middle always on the line and then february it was 7 30 so it's between 7 and 8 so in the middle then in march it was 6 30 so again between 6 and 7 then april it was 6 a.m. So that's right there. Then we've got May is 5.30. So that's between 5 and 6. June is 5 a.m. So we've got it there. July is 4.30. So between 5 and 4. August is 5 a.m. So it's going back up now. It's going back up the y-axis. September, along to September, up to 6 a.m. And then we've got October. So I'm going to go along to October and up to 7 a.m. then along to november up to 7 a.m again and then finally december we've got 7 30 so it's going to be between 7 and 8 on the line okay so you can see on my x-axis line so the lines that are running vertically the x is always on the line it's never in the middle of the box However, on the y-axis, it can be in the middle of the box if it's saying that it's halfway between a number. Okay, so I'm going to join that line up first so I can see that one. So I'm carefully going to join that up. If you've got two different coloured pencils, you could do this in two different colours. If not, you could do them both with a pencil and you would need, just would need to label them. Okay, Okay. so I'm going to put that my red line is sunrise, so I'm using my key now, and then I'm going to do the next one, so I'm going to use orange for this one, so now I'm going to do sunset, so in January the sunset was at 4 p.m. so that's 1600 hours so we've got that there then February we're going to go along to February and up to 430 so that's between 
1600 hours and 1700 hours. Then along to March, and I've got 5.30, so an hour later, on the line in the middle on the y-axis. April is 7.30, so I'm going to go along to April, up to 7, and then I know it's halfway between 7 and 8. May, I'm going to go along to May, and up to 8.30, like that. Then June is 9 o'clock, or 2100 hours so I've got that point there then along the x-axis to July up the y-axis to 9.30 about there then along the x-axis to August up the y-axis to 8.30 so that's between 8 and 9 Then along the x-axis to September, up to 7.30, so between 8 and 7. Okay, October, along to October, up to 6.30. Oh. Then December, no, November, up the y-axis to 4.30. And then along to December and finally up to four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, and then I'm going to join those lines together. So I need my ruler, my line to be orange. There we go. So you can see I'm just joining the lines together with a nice straight line, making sure I include every point. Don't want to miss any out or my line will be accurate. And you want to go right to the middle of your point. Okay? And then I've got this for my key. So orange equals sun set. Okay? If you had two different coloured lines, you could just write next to it sunset, sunrise. Okay? Just to make that nice and clear what each line represents. Okay, so let's just have a look at this quickly so see what to see what we can explain about this graph. So we can see that as the months go, as we get into summer, the sun rises earlier, but we can see that it sets later. So it sets at 9.30. So we could say that our days seem longer. And in our winter months, the sun rises later but sets earlier, okay? And so it forms a peak in the middle of our sunset and a trough in the middle of our sunrise, okay? So looking at the graph, you can see how that relates to our real life sunset and sunrise and how our days change, okay? So when it asks you questions about graphs like this, try and apply them to your real life. Okay, so white rose today, silver is questions one and two, gold is two and three, and platinum is three and four. If you need any help, please contact Mrs. Willis and I, but remember along the x-axis, up the y-axis, and you will be fine.